Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be learning about .NET MAUI MBVM approach using the C# -SAP code. So here you can see this is the simple basic um, C# -SAP implementation to get this MBVM binding working and uh, which gets data from the view model to the view. So this is the view which I have created and this gets data from the view model where it is binded so uh, let me explain more about this tutorial so when you we click on this button then it gets the data from the view model too so now in this tutorial what we have done is uh, we have used this plugin that is community toolkit dot markup so what we need to do is just right click on the project manage nuget package if you are using windows system then you can use it the same way community toolkit maui just search for that okay so here there is the plugin so you install all the three uh, plugins because this, these are really important for designing our uis and everything so as soon as you uh, download it as well as installed uh, these three plugins then inside maui program.cs we'll be doing some implementation that is our initialization of three things so don't forget to uh, include these namespaces that is it for the initialization so whenever our application starts that is our app.jaml.cs this is the c -sharp page that i have created that is my new ui page so i know i you know that like uh, you know how to create the new c -sharp page that is our adding a new class file and a just general uh, class file or you you can just add a .NET maui and then create a new content page and it should look like this okay so that is it that is the c uh, page creation and here uh, in our previous tutorial that is our c uh, code implementation let me just uh, comment this out because at the at the time what we used to do is like we used to create some content equals to new grid and then uh, we used to place the code over here but what our requirement over here in this code is uh, this is the only thing i'll let me break it down and this is the easiest way to create a, a ui uh, ui so here you can see a grid a grid contains two rows that is having a row definition of 50 and the auto so uh, you can just uh, put some auto and auto two because here uh, we don't want uh, anything um uh, fancy over here that's why i just created uh, we can just create a vertical stack layout too and then add all those two things uh in that vertical start stack layout but i just do want to make this uh, uh make you understand about what is grid and how to implement it in the uh, c sub code implementation so here you can see we have a main grid uh and which i have uh, like uh, uh, added with uh, two rows and then uh, in that two rows I have added uh, a children that is a header text as well as my circle image so here you can see this is the header text as well as the circle image and here uh, main grid uh, had a has two children we know that right so which has grid dot row zero grid dot row one and then uh, if you have used uh, community dot markup then uh, this is the code that uh, we can implement it over here that we, we want the uh, label to be centered and then same goes for the image circle to uh, vertical as well as horizontal option as center so we just want that uh, both the uh, label as well as uh, uh, button to be centered but here uh, you need to understand that we are going to place these two components i'll let you know what those two components are i'm just going to uh, put those two components inside the main grid and main grid is a children of a grid okay which is placed at the center so it looks like this this is the uh, center grid which contains a uh, children as a main grid and this main grid has two components that is label as well as the uh, button so here what does this uh, label uh, means is my header text means is just a label okay just like the jaml implementation so this jaml implementation what i have done is I have my uh header text okay just a class and uh, named as my header text okay so which header text as a center that is like something like if you have uh, implemented uh, uh what it is called label then uh, we are going to place it as a center of the screen okay that is like on that specific grid we are just going to put it at, at the center horizontal as well as vertically so with and giving a text color as black 
okay so same thing goes for font size too same thing okay and then this is the thing that we need uh, really over here that is like we need to focus on this area where the binding occurs i'll let you know about this a little bit later so here's the same thing uh, goes for our uh, we just don't want this my image height over here okay so uh, here the circle image for the circle image what we have used in our previous tutorial okay uh, that is a image that is a image button okay that would be uh, placed at the center of the screen then uh, having a corner radius of 30 and i'm giving a height as well as width of the image button to 60 and here you can see uh, now our main requirement are bind these three things with the view model and in our previous tutorial too in jaml binding we have already learned about the level how to do a binding uh, along with the uh, image button there are there were two properties that were source property as well as the command property how to be binded so these two components are being called over here okay and this uh, this adding this uh, to a main grid we are adding it to the parent grid okay so this is the parent grid and the main grid is the uh, grid that is uh, related with the parent uh, and uh, the main grid has uh, uh, been added as a children anyway okay so as soon as, as soon as the application starts then uh, the application goes through through this way okay where these two uh, uis are going to be added, added as well as attached then the uh, view model binding occurs okay so now the label we know that okay uh the binding here you can see uh this dot and this is how the binding works and uh we have the property that need to be binded that is our bind label dot text property that is our text to be binded okay and uh, we know that image button has a source property and then along with that image has a command property too image button has a command property too right so this is the image button so it has a command property too and which gets binded to the view model so in order to do a binding with a view model what we need to do is we need to create the public property and from here everything is same as like our previous tutorial the view model implementation okay so here the uh, view model that is being used over here gets this data from the public property of the view model so these three properties okay so let me go to the view model just create a new class name as my new ui page view model so in our previous tutorial too what we have used is this three way header text my image button source and then uh, perform image button uh, clicked so these are three properties that are public properties which are being used over here so just make sure that we are using the correct property and um, here header text is being used and this is binded with the uh, ui and the image source to as a string but here you can create a, uh, the image source to as a property okay so along with the button click and then uh, whenever application starts then it comes to the ui then it hits this view model and it fits the data from here to the ui okay so that is how the binding takes place okay and then whenever the button is uh, clicked then what happens so this is the uh, uh, tab event command operation so whenever the button is clicked then we are going to raise a alert and along with that we can just change the header text to that is it so uh, changed text that's all okay so we can just run the app and then now whenever the button is clicked then uh, we can see that uh, the header text previously was uh, this thing that is view model binding to c sharp page then it is now changed to uh, change text whenever that button will be clicked so here you can see view model binding to the c sharp page whenever the application starts then whenever button clicks and then the text is changed so that is it this is a very basic one so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials